What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another tutorial for you guys. Today, I will be teaching you how to draw with your mouse. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit post notifications so you will be notified every time I draw some heat. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So, the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure you got this option pulled up and if you don't see it right here all you got to do is click onto it and hold it and then it'll pull up the options so when you get these options you want to click the pencil tool okay then after that you want to double click it and you want to make sure your settings looking like mine for the time being okay after you do that you want to hit okay and now we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna lock one of these colors so we only can have a black showing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's make our lines a little thicker. So I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw a face. And one thing you wanna do. Like when you join, you want to overshoot your lines. You want to make your lines go through, like I'll show you. Just say if I'm drawing an eye, instead of like trying to make it so sharp to connect like this, and you see how it's not, how it's not really connecting at the points. If I was drawing like a face or something, and the eyes is not connecting. Okay, first thing to get them smooth, connected, sharp points at each end, you want to overshoot your line. So we're going to do it like this. We're going to draw our eyes and we're going to make we're going to make the lines go all the way through just like this. And you'll see why we're doing it this way at the end. So after we draw that, we're going to draw where the nose supposed to be and we're going to overshoot overshoot our lines again looking right we just overshooting our lines okay now what you want to do wait let me go ahead and draw the mouth real quick before we go to the next step And if you don't want your lines to get corrected so much where it changes your shapes, you can double click back onto your pencil tool and you can bring your smoothness down some. So you can have more control over the lines. Because the higher you got your smoothness up, it's going to try to clean your lines up. So you just bring that down some. Okay, now that we got got our lines move this my focus on okay what you want to do you want to select everything you want to go to object expand click OK and after you click expand you want to come up here to windows and get out you want to get out your pathfinder and then we're going to click divide 
after you click divide you want to click this white arrow right here and now we can click every line that we overshot and we can just hit delete twice and it'll go through and now you can see those sharp points we wanted we got them now So now everything is looking, looking real smooth. Okay. Now we're just gonna finish this face up. Let's go back to our pencil tool. Let's just go ahead and finish adding. Uh oh. Gotta make sure our color is on this side. Let me make my brush a little bigger. And I wanna bring I wanna bring my side my my smoothness back up so we can have these side get more help making a clean line okay since you're drawing with your mouse you're gonna need all the help you can get to make these very clean clean looking looking lines same thing we're gonna select this section right here then you want to just come up to object expand click OK and go to divide on your pathfinder again click this white arrow tool and go through and hit delete twice now we got a clean looking Object, expand, OK, divide, arrow. That's how we get some very clean looking, looking lines, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna just add a little small, little small little details. got this right here your color on the bottom Let's see move our smoothness all the way up okay it's already moved up make our lines a little bigger shape with a head see. and we ain't got 
got to worry about what's outside the outside the page. But we do got to make sure it's still closed off. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everything you still closing off your lines. Okay, let's make our lines look a little, a little bigger. And we, we're going to overshoot it right here. Create our ear. We're going to overshoot it right here. expand click OK and we're gonna go to divide get our white arrow out we delete our lines we overshot so we get these sharp points pencil tool make sure your black is in the inside I'll do the inner detail inside the ear I'll make my brush a little bigger Same method, same method through the whole picture. Expand, okay, divide, white selection tool, and just get our little lines that we overshot. Now that we finish with the line work, what you wanna do, you wanna highlight everything back to object expand then you want to click merge to make it all one after you do that you want to drag this layer to this blank sheet of paper and make a copy lock that layer and now we're gonna add some color to it so how I find my, my skin tones what I like to do I like to give it like a mix between if I'm doing like darker skin skin tones I do a mix between like this orange and this red and then I just keep moving around so I get the color that I'm comfortable with you know what I'm saying not too orange not too red just somewhere somewhere in between 
You know what I'm saying? Or if I want to do somebody brighter, I just go to orange, like an orangey, really just an orange color. And then I just come more over here. But the more you do it, you'll you get the hang of it. You'll get more comfortable with finding a, finding colors. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make him kind of skin tone. He's going to be, okay, this is a nice color. You want to go to your rectangle tool after you find your color and drag it over the entire picture. Make sure that you fit everything inside the rectangle. You want to right click the color, go to arrange, send the color to the back, and you will know if you did this step right if you look over here at your layers and you see your lines showing on top of your color. After you do that, you want to select everything, go to object, expand, click OK, and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder. So now what we can do now is click back onto it right click it isolate select group and now we can change the colors that's inside certain areas that's closed off so we're gonna make this we'll do this hair i'll do this hair a little darker than that eyes jet black and then inside we're gonna do these like a brownish white eyes Anytime I'm doing the color of lips, I always make the top lip darker. You know what I'm saying? And make the the bottom lip brighter. So Got this, but it's cool. We got to get that line right there as I was shooting. But all is good. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a layer in between your line work and your, your color layer. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the shades. So I'm gonna teach you how to shade with your mouse. So you wanna go back to this pencil tool. And remember how I told you, make sure your color is at the bottom that you're using. Now we're going to make sure it's at the top. And this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to shade the, eye, the pupil first. So I'm going to get my dropper tool. I got a good sample of this color. And we're going to just bring it down some to make a shadow of it. Click OK. And now what we're going to do, we're going to trace. In the inside, just like I'm doing here. And we're gonna add, after you do that, you wanna add the shape of the the shade you want. So I want it to I want the shadow to curve just like this. And really, I should have did uh, the blacks with the line work, but it's all good. It is all good. You feel, Smith. So we're going to add one more layer to add behind that. 
we're gonna sample this I get a shadow for it and I just want you to see my method of shading I'm, I'm tracing inside where I don't want the shadow to go you know what I'm saying too far out of what I'm doing then I want the shadow to come right here then we're gonna come back up with it so it all makes sense at the end I'm gonna do the same thing right here we're gonna chase in the inside And whatever shadow you want behind the shadow, you gotta, on your layers, you gotta put it behind it on the layer side. So. So really, what I can do is, see how that shadow is coming, coming through the eye. I can make another layer behind this dark brown and just sample this again and get my pencil tool back and just cut cover that up And I do a couple of more videos using my mouse, so you, if you're not really getting the hang of or getting what I'm doing, you, if I do a couple of them, you'll, you'll eventually catch on. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and color this. I'm gonna make a layer above everything with my blacks. So it'll be on top of the colors. Okay. You see what I'm doing? Every time I want a shadow to sit on top of a shadow, I'm just I'm just making a new layer above the shadow that I want it to sit on top of. Okay. So what we're gonna do is gonna shade the skin tone now so what we're gonna do we're gonna come back to a layer that's close to the bottom sample the skin tone we're gonna pick a nice little nice little shadow for it get our pencil tool and then we just gonna we're gonna trace what we don't want the shadow going like we're gonna we, we we really making a border for it where it don't go outside of this you know what i'm saying so just say if i want we're gonna stop it right there it's not gonna go past where the border i made it you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like making a stopping point for it because if you just do it you just do it crazy it's just but we're gonna make our little border before i always make the border before i start adding the shape of the shadow. So I'm tracing where I don't want it to go outside. And now I'm finna do my freestyle of my shadows. I want it to look just like this. And there you have it. Shadow on my nose. Um, we're gonna do a shadow right here. So we're gonna make it. Come right there. Let's make it come a little farther over. Do a 
little shadow right here. Just a little dip. A little shadow on the eyes. And the more you do it, you like the more you'll get the hang of it more, you know what I'm saying? Let's sample this shadow right there. We gotta do this other side right here. Uh-oh. Make sure that's on the layer. Make sure it's on the eye shadow layer. And it's best to name your layers when you're doing shadows so you can be a little more organized. I'm not I'm not very organized when I'm working. And you know what? We can going back to our skin shadows. We're gonna do the inner shadow or the ear. So I'll come right here. Shadow under his lip. I'm gonna do a shadow inside the lip. Now we're gonna create a layer on top of everything, on top of the line work and everything, and we're gonna get out the color white. So we can add our little glares in the eyes. You can just get your circle tool for that. Then what you wanna do, you wanna hold Alt. I mean, not Alt, but, uh, wait, is it Alt? Yeah, hold Alt. On your keyboard and just drag it over to make a copy and we're going we're gonna make one more small circle right here and we're going to get out our selection tool hold out again after you select it and drag it over gonna go back to the layer that's under the line work and we're gonna add our highlights to the skin you know what I'm saying so let's find a little a brighter color go back to our pencil tool and we'll just create them some highlights Cheekbone. 
that look pretty good and there you have it you guys how to draw using your mouse I will be dropping a few more of these videos so everybody can you know what I'm saying catch on and, and we'll get more advanced in a couple more videos I drop so we'll start drawing like stuff that's more in detail and depth go ahead and hit that like button comment subscribe more heat coming soon and I'm out this thing